So I don't know who needs this word. I don't know who's here that um, God wants to hear this message. I myself uh, don't even know where this message is, is going. Um, yesterday, I tried to release a word and it just wouldn't come together. And I am super emotional and I'm not why well, I am sure why but uh, um this is what I want to talk about you know there are things that now God is making clear to me what I am to do and and my purpose to hit to the body of Christ right and so there are things that I myself would not know unless God had given me revelation about it and I myself had gone through it. Like I just, I would not have known that, right? Um, and so I'm sitting in my car, so sorry about background noises or anything that you hear. So I am, I'm gonna talk about something that, you know, we all may be dealing with or going through to some degree at some point, if we seek promotion, if we seek manifestation, we all have to go through this. And so I just wanna give, just whatever insight the Holy Ghost wants me to give about what I am about to share with you because here is the thing right in the body of Christ we have perfected we have perfected teaching and preaching the ways of the enemy and not the ways of God right we we know about every demonic spirit that there is we know about Jezebel we know about Pharaoh we know about water spirits but we have not perfected teaching the body the ways of, of God right we don't know how to tell people how to how to how to go through we don't know how to tell people how to manifest and so as a result as a body we don't see anything we are constantly in warfare we are constantly going through but we never get to the point of manifestation we never get to the point of seeing and that is because as a as a body right as those of us that are called those of us that are chosen those of us that are sent we do not teach people how to birth anything how to bring about anything into manifestation and so as God was talking to me and dealing with me and I was actually, I'm going through it like physically in my body. I thought about all the other times that I would be going through promotion and I would not understand it and it would be new and it would be scary. And I believed the church when they said new level, new devil. And so now I'm thinking I have to fight a different way. I have warfare. Like I did not understand promotion. I did not understand how uncomfortable the shift was. I did not understand the press. I, I didn't, right? And so God started to teach me about manifestation, about shifting, about promotion. And God used two examples this morning because as I have been in heavy shifting, right? I have been feeling it in my physical body and I've been feeling it for a long time and God has been talking to me about it and it is uncomfortable it is painful I have not liked it I have I have tried to pray it away I have I have tried to do everything that I can to get away from it and so God started to give me two examples in the Bible about how manifestation looks I've said this before if you've been here with me any significant amount of time I've said to you in the church we've done a dis service when we talk about Kairos because we make Kairos exciting. We make Kairos exhilarating. Let me tell you something, people of God. Kairos is scary. Kairos is scary. The Bible says for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross. He endured the cross. Do you understand what I'm saying? It, it was something he had to endure, right? We don't endure anything that we deem to be an exciting experience. And so, the what God was talking to me about is he talked to me about the story of the woman with the issue of blood and he talked to me about Abraham now there's a video I'm sorry see how that's happening you have right an here. incoming call so <laughs> I'm I'm in my car so oh shoot what is let me tell you how the devil is my phone just called 911 is that not crazy that that's proof that got that the enemy does not want me to get this video out like how in the world did my phone call 911 that's crazy that 
is so great. I didn't even know iPhone could do that if you hit that button twice. Okay. 911. Oh my gosh, that's still Rama right now. Because yesterday was 911. Wow. Okay, anyway, glory to God. Let me get this word out because that's just proof. Like, I don't know if you heard that, but my phone literally was like emergency call. Like, okay. So here's where I was going. So I released the word um a few months ago as god was talking to me about the second half of 2020 and god used the example of the woman with the issue of blood i don't remember what i titled that video i think i might have it titled it something around desperation or or something to that degree i don't remember what i titled that word but god used the abraham and the woman with the issue of blood as examples for manifestation and shifting as it relates to what we have to physically go through because when god came when god was ready to shift abraham into manifestation god first of all changed abraham's name from abram to abraham and then god gave abraham the command to circumcise himself as well as all of the males in his household and i've preached this before but that was uncomfortable that i am pretty sure that at 99 years old i'm not a man that to be circumcised and have your entire household walking around circumcised all the males was not a pleasant experience it was not pleasant the second example that the Holy Ghost showed me was the woman with the issue of blood. This is a woman that had been bleeding for 12 years. This is a woman that the Bible says not only could doctors not help her, but she got worse. In this story, right, there are throngs of people pressed against Jesus. It took physical strength for this woman to press through to get through to Jesus. It took physical, I'm sorry about the noise, you guys, like... I'm gonna have to move because the enemy is really like there's just some interference here with me getting this message to you so i'm just gonna go kind of park somewhere a little different and so the holy ghost was showing to me the the physical endurance and strength that it takes to shift right and a lot of times even with this word stuff comes up stuff comes up and the church has taught us you know that's the devil and no let me tell you something manifestation shifting performance it is a process it is a heavy process it is a process that requires our soul our spirit and our body and we are not taught that we are not taught that so this is what happens when we get ready to start shifting instead of pressing forward into the shift we start fighting back what we perceive as an attack we get distracted from our moment of shifting and into manifestation and we start trying to beat back what we perceive as the enemy that's what we start doing right and so god started teaching me about how to deal with that right because um and so and so that's what god was teaching me like that's what god was teaching me and God was telling me, daughter, you have to you have to teach this to your people because there are those of us that are our, our Kairos is, is now it's here. And as we shift, as God is bringing this thing to performance, stuff is coming up that can be perceived as warfare, physical stuff. I feel like for a lot of us. It's physical. I want to talk about the physical part of it. I want to talk about our bodies being in pain and acting up, right? You know, we know that this is the month of September. We know that this is a birthing month, right? And so we've talked about the physicalness of having a, a you know, for us women, right? Having a baby is not the most pleasant experience. I don't know who out there was like, boy, it was a breeze. It was a cakewalk. God bless you. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was, it was painful, but you can't, you, I couldn't, I couldn't walk away from it. I couldn't say, okay, well, yeah, this is too, this is too hard. Let me not do this. Right. And even for me, my own personal birthing experience, like once the epidural wore off, I remember asking my midwife, can I get another round? And she was like, no, like it's, it's time for birthing. It's time to push. You need, you need the pain. You need the contraction to tell you when it's, when it's time to push glory to God. And so God was talking to me and God was saying to me, don't back up. And there was something today that I needed to do. Like, like today was I had to do something today. I had to I had to participate in something. And let me tell you, it my body was physically acting up. Like I even now I'm telling you I 
feel emotional. I had to ask the Holy Ghost for angelic assistance to even move into what God was calling me to do. I was, I was telling God, I don't want to get this wrong. I don't want to get this wrong. I don't want to be doing anything on my own accord. If this is really not you calling me to do this, Lord, please show me. Please help me. I don't want to mess this up. Like, I was asking God that. Like, I don't want to mess this up. And so I'm I'm releasing this word because there are those of you that you, you're shifting, right? There are things that you need to do. And you may have to do it. You You will have to do it. And it won't be easy you will be in pain there may be some confusion your your soul is like nope nope abort mission don't do it you can't nope nope like i'm telling you not only not only did this woman have to herself was bleeding for 12 years right but illegally she shouldn't have been out there like she could have she could have seriously gotten in trouble i kept reading the passage of scripture where even jesus didn't know who she was right even G she had to announce to jesus it was it was me it was me even jesus couldn't locate who just pulled for me this is mm, this is jesus this is jesus right jesus knows everything jesus jesus is like who, who touched me who touched me he's like no somebody and the bible says when she knew that jesus was not gonna let the matter drop she announced it was me it was me i pulled from you there are those of us that are in the press in the world and circumstances may say it's not your time but listen for those of you that are called here we are desperate we need a move of god we need god to move it's been mm, it's been too long it's been too long our life is on the line we need a move of god i don't need another word I need you to move for me, Jesus. I need to pull from the power of Jesus. We are like that woman with the issue of blood. We have to pull from Jesus. And it is not going to be comfortable. It is not going to be easy. But I'm telling you, right, the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ is saying it's available. It's available. It, it's available. It's available. Promotion time is here. Kairos is here manifestation is here do not let anything stop you from pulling on what god says is available today it doesn't matter how impossible it looks it doesn't matter how many years it has been it doesn't matter how the fact that the natural couldn't help you doctors couldn't help you all that matters is that the power of the lord jesus christ is available and it's our time it's our time, and like that woman, we have refused to take no for an answer. We have refused to die here. We have refused, we have refused, and so we are petitioning heaven to bring about performance for us. We are petitioning heaven to bring about performance for us. So, I don't know who this word is gonna help, I don't know who needed this word, but I'm telling you, right, like, even in what I had to bring about for myself and my own shift and even shifting for you guys, it's it's been a lot, but God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. I'm telling you, God is faithful. He is, he is absolutely faithful. Um... Yeah, it, God is faithful. God is faithful. You know, the enemy has, has pulled out all the stops for me to focus on what could appear to be warfare. You know, the last time, and I, I'm going to say this, the last time God called me to do what I had to do again was the day a few weeks ago that my 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 closest cousin she she fell into a coma it was it i was i was going to do then what god had called me to do again today and it was first of all doing it was already uncomfortable doing it was already uncomfortable and then in the midst of doing it came the news that my cousin 
was sick. And when I called to see what was going on, they said to me, oh, no worries, you know, false, false alarm, everything is okay. And by the time I got word that it wasn't okay, they were getting ready to pull the plug. And so now here, God is calling me to do it again, right? And all of that old stuff from just a couple of weeks ago was there. So that is there. My own body is feeling like a ton of bricks and doesn't want to move. I don't want to get it wrong, but I can't stay here. I, I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it. You know, I, I'm like, the, I, ha I have to do it. I can't stay still i can't not doing it even though the enemy is screaming yes you know what happened last time don't get this wrong what are you doing and so i just want to once again encourage those of you everybody may not be here everybody may not be here but if you need god to move for you if you need god to move for you you have to shift into what God is calling you to do. You have to, sh you have to do it. You have to, feeling, feeling heaviness, feeling confusion. That, that woman was pressing through. Like, listen, I could get in trouble here. My body is, has been bleeding for 12 years. I'm weak as can be, but this, I have to do it. If I could just but touch the hem of his garment, it'll be over, it'll be over. So, I'm just asking you guys to just press, press through and touch the hem of his garment. Do what God is asking you to do. Do what God is asking you to do in this hour. I've been saying it over and over and over and over on all of my videos that God means business. God, and, and listen, when you press the right way, it'll be over. It'll be over. It'll be over. You won't need a doctor. You won't need a lawyer. You won't need counseling. You won't need anything. It'll be over. And whatever way Jesus performs it for you, it'll be over. It will be over. It will, whatever God is calling you to do, to shift, it will be over. There are those of you that are going to catch this. And there are those of you that may not catch this. But I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, when you press, and when you are desperate and when you refuse to not have performance show up for you, it'll happen.